Hello everyone and welcome back to another book review. It is another wonderful early February morning. I have my cup of coffee and I am here today to review Cackle by Rachel Harrison. So I saw this on the new shelf at my library, it has the blue news sticker, and I pulled it off the shelf and decided to take it mostly because I thought this might contain witches. The word cackle, there's a spider, it's that green font. Everything about this book screams witches and I figured since I love witches, why not pull it off the shelf and give it a read? And I wound up absolutely loving this. This was a four star read, like four and a half star read. This was really, really good. And I really had a great time. So in this book, we meet Annie who is on the eve or on her 30th birthday when the book starts. She has just gotten out of a 10 year relationship and the person who left her didn't do it very, it, this wasn't like an explosive fight, it was just kind of like him saying, eh, I don't really want this anymore, I think we work better as friends. And they're sharing an apartment together in New York City, so they're rotating between like the couch and the bed to sleep and it's just a big absolute mess and she's spending her 30th birthday with a coworker she doesn't know really well and it's kind of bad. However, she's going to make a fresh start. In a couple weeks, she's going to move to a small town, village. I think the town or village name is Rowan. I could be wrong about that. Where she's going to take up a new teaching job at the local school and she's going to restart her life. So that's what she does. And she gets to this town, she's renting an apartment, and she immediately meets a woman named Sophie who's older and a little eccentric. The townspeople seem to not like her very much, but she gives Annie the friendship that Annie needs. This book is the perfect post-breakup book if you are looking for one. I am not in the thralls of a breakup right now, so some of this stuff I did not relate to. For example, from my rational standpoint where I stand right now, I wanted to scream every time Annie picked up the phone to text her ex, to look at pictures of him on social media, to, to call him, no, girl, no, you gotta rip off a band-aid, cold, con like cold turkey, no contact, delete his number, lose his information, move to upstate New York and reinvent yourself. However, in the throes of a breakup, it can be harder to do the whole, I'm gonna rip the bandaid off and go on. So you can kind of see that. And also she's getting out of a 10 year relationship that she was pretty sure she was going to be married in, like she's gonna marry this man that she was in the relationship with. So there's a lot of loss that she's dealing with. On the other side, um, we have Sophie who doesn't really think being in a relationship is all that necessary and wants Annie to kind of gain self-confidence. However, Sophie is not portrayed as all wonderful. She definitely has some interesting characteristics. She has things that kind of make you raise a yellow flag, I guess you should say, thinking is this appropriate? There's some spooky stuff that goes on. And yeah, I was torn throughout this entire book about whether or not I was rooting for Sam, the ex-boyfriend who was kind of doing a hot cold, hot cold thing where he would talk to her and then he wouldn't respond to her. Um, but also I was kind of rooting for Sophie because Sophie was teaching Annie about self-confidence and about um, trying to also uh, do the no contact thing, telling her that she couldn't use her phone. Um, but like, is that too possessive saying you can't use your phone? Yeah, probably. So it was just this, this tug of war where I didn't really know who I was cheering for until about the last 20 or 30 pages where she has to make a decision um, regarding this relationship with Sam or this lack of relationship with Sam and this witch. Well, <laughs> Sophie. It, she's She has very mysterious powers and you, you are led to believe that she might be a witch. And about 20 or 30 pages to the end, I want to say, is when I really picked who, how I wanted this to go. This was just a really good book. I read this in one sitting beginning to end. I had a really, really great time reading it. Uh, and if you love witches or if you are post breakup or if you just want to move to a small up, uh, city in upstate New York and restart your life and possibly become a witch in the process, um, check out this book and read it. It reads really, really fast, even though it's probably a normal 250 pages, but it's very, very entertaining. I really, really enjoyed Rachel Harrison's work. So I will, I think she has one other novel called The Return which actually was nominated for an award according to the back of the book. So I will be looking to see if there's anything else. Well, 
the return if my library has that because I really really enjoyed this one and I would highly recommend that you pick this up and read it whether it's from the bookstore or the local library it's just such a good read such a fun time um yeah that's about all I can say about it other than that everyone I hope you have a great February day and you get lots of reading done thank you